Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and this far I'm going to continue the work on the radio. We're going to first look at building a basic back piece for what we want to be able to add in for some details later. We'll, we'll do a little bit beveling, a little uh, boolean operation as well. Then we'll snap verts to verts as we need to make sure we have a solid object. We'll then look at actually creating the clock dial itself. We'll have it scaled down and we'll start working with the knob and kind of work our way out. We'll, work, we'll create some basic shapes using the, the basic shapes that are within 3D Studio Max to begin with. We'll then create some edges, scale the edges out, and just build from that. We'll, bat, we'll build all the little arms that are on the particular knob. And then, of course, we're going to look at smoothing groups because that's going to come in handy when we go for turbo smoothing to make sure we get a really nice, clean look to it. We'll then go ahead and push on building the rest of the clock face. We'll add in the letters. We'll, we'll actually do those with just uh, spline text. We'll then extrude them. We'll also uh, create the curve text as we need to following the spline. And then we're going to go ahead and create the numerals last for the, the clock face and input it into our model. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> 